everybody. I'm back again to do some more cards. See if we can't get rid of all this paper. Just gave the... Sorry. I didn't mean to put my hand in front of there. See if we can't get rid of the kids for a little while. I have just given them snacks. So I, I'm hoping that that will make them go have a nap. Because that's what I told them they were for. So hopefully they're listening. I hope. Not, not too often they do, but let's, I will give them a chance. Anyway, so I thought I'd just pick up where I left off yesterday and uh, see what we've got. And then I, I uh, last night was sitting here staring and I thought, oh, look at this. I've got all this paper in this bag that's, you know, for Fat Fred or, or whatever, but it's all like little pieces of paper. Um, some could be, you know, see there's some that's Christmas, some that's Christmas here. So I thought maybe I should yeah, take a look. This is a, a die cut I have of um, different um, ornaments that you can play. This is Valentine, so that's not too hot. Um, Say forever and always. Uh, that's more Valentine's. Um, well, there is some pink stuff in this. So maybe we'll hang on to some of this pink stuff and green stuff with colors and browns and greens. This one might be nice for something. Oh, that's got to go in my tag thing. Uh, so much stuff in here to make. All the little teeny stuff. Um, put that in there. I wish I could have my punches out here someplace, but I have no room in this front room for punches. I have them hanging on my bedroom door. Um, that doesn't do me a whole lot of good out here, but that's where they are. Uh, what's this stuff? It's all kind of blues, jingle bell music sheets. Put the little stuff all into the back into the bag, and you know, these were like little borders in a I don't know, it was a mini album kit or something that I had been given or was gifted to me if, um, at Christmas or something. So, but there are some papers in here that. Um, I could probably use a bit of pink, and this might be pretty. That's a pretty green. This is um, just kind of stamps, and there's some more of that pink. Just because I know we have some pink in, in some of the stuff, but the stuff that's already like all punched out and stuff, it's like it's not really all that good for cards. So I'll put that all back into the bag. on the floor. <laughs> Cats will like that. Awesome something to play with. <laughs> Boy, from Pimple Bunch down here. Don't get that. Huh. There's some blue. I don't know if I got any blue in this. I might. Um, this little green one might go. Um, actually, that little blue strip might go with something. And That's all small stuff. I don't think I have. I don't I think I have anything that's yellow, but let's just um, keep that out. That might go with post mode. Um, probably should have done this before I came on, but I just noticed the bag and I had been looking at it all night last night. And I thought, oh, there's probably a whole ton of stuff in there I can use, um, except for the small stuff that I will use for, you know. Clusters. I don't know why that word clusters is so hard to keep in my brain, but it is for some reason. <laughs> it takes me a sec to think of it, and yeah, this isn't, that's not really Christmassy. That could be with some of the stuff that's got blue on it, that could be okay. Um, that's more clear. 
cluster stuff. More cluster stuff. But this is exciting for you, huh? To watch me do this. Yeah. And like I say, I should have done it before I came on. I wasn't I wasn't thinking, I'm sorry. But um there's fairy didn't turn out so hot so we can cut her up for something and there's a really really nice Christmas this is a beautiful Christmas green I don't know if you can see it's all shimmery and everything it's, it's lovely another tag black strips cream strips white this is nice too that's definitely clusters clusters tags try it. We'll see. We'll have it here just in case and see what happens with all this stuff. I have more pieces of junk paper around them. I'm sure a lot of you do too, but um, sometimes it's like, what do I keep? And I know Steve used to teach you, he's like, you keep even the skinniest, skinniest piece of it. You keep it because you could take it with your scissors and gently curl it and I was like, oh, good idea. <laughs> you know, so now I, and now with clusters I'm keeping even smaller pieces and it used to be I wouldn't keep a piece unless it was, you know, a couple of inches. And some chipboard and some tag and tag. Put that over there. And the cluster stuff. Well, that didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Might go with something. There's another one of those we might be able to use. So all this little stuff into the little bag. And there, done. You can dump that over there. And oh, there we go. A couple more pieces. And that's just way too bright for Christmas, I think. Unless it's a light, it's it's too big. Now Fred knows that I've gone through this bag that he's always trying to get to. And uh, he's like, can I have it, Mom? And I'm like, no. I've had to hide it so many times and put it in different places. And uh, it's just been a... So anyway, I had a blue card. I don't know what I'm doing first, but... Oh, look. We have penguins in blue. Now... mouse will fit on, but I think the house, house mouse would probably go, uh, let's, let's try the, oh there's a green in there, I didn't see the green yesterday, well, let's try the green, oh yeah that shows up, the house mouse real cute, so let's see what we can do with house mouse here, in their little Two pieces of paper there. We only want one. And then there's the little girl is going down the hall. She's one of Fred's friends. She likes Fred and Fred likes her, so <laughs> I mean, So I think I'm going to Super fancy, but I want to keep a little bit of that um, that white border around it and uh, not chop off anybody's tails or ears or 
a little close to that guy's ears, or his tail, I should say. And uh, around here, this little guy's ears. And I may have to come back and do a little bit of touch up on it, but that's okay. that they're building. That's such a cute house. My oldest granddaughter's nickname is Mouse for me. Um, I always call her Mouse. Her name is Shania, but uh, I call her Mouse. Um, and my grandmother always called me Mouse. My, with my grandmother um, being French, she was um, always coming up to me and with her fingers going up my back. <laughs> she would go, Bebe de mouse. And uh, here comes a tiny mouse or something, I think it meant. But um, I knew that mouse was mouse. And uh, she called me that my whole life. Um, even on my wedding day, she did it when. They took the pictures of the grandparents and my grandmother's fingers went up my back and she's like, Bibi de Mouse. <laughs> and, and I just started to laugh and the photographer took the picture. <laughs> so that was a good picture because it was inspired by her. Now oh, that's cute. That's cute. They are so sweet. I just love house mouse. Now where was that? Um... Hmm. and it's got the colors that they're putting in the house. Uh, I don't know. I'll think about that. But I am going to go and grab my um, card stickers that I have. The, they're just right here. Because of the type of cards I used to do, I have a bunch of them. And these are all the star form stickers. I have them for every occasion and um, let's see if I can find the Christmas ones because I have some beautiful Christmas yeah, here's some Christmas ones that will work with that. Um, this one. Birthdays. And it has these beautiful little little corners that you can put on cards. Um, it has a lot of other stuff too. Those, um, let it snow peace. Maybe I'll keep some of these out actually because you know they could could get used on some. Some of them are quite small and uh, some of them are bigger. It depends on the size of your card. Um, I'll keep a few of them out and I have happy holidays as well and um, quite a few different things. I wasn't going to bring out a whole bunch of stuff, was I? But these will. Um, you know, I have some of these in here that, that um, they're just sitting here, and uh, they should get used. They shouldn't just be sitting here. Um, there's a few of those ones left, and then you know, I could use those. And there's some tiny corners. That would be good. Um, I have a friend who's, whose daughter, um, she's older the daughter. The mother is 90 and uh, her daughter loves um, ladybugs. So every year for her birthday um, she asked me to do her a card um, and it can have anything on it. It doesn't matter. She'll, she'll sometimes tell me what she would like to see on the card and uh, then I will um, take that, um, make that card can you get down now? No, you're not going to play in that garbage can like you did all night last night. So you stay down. Um, and she'll tell me what she would like the card to be. And then, um, okay. I think 
I'm, I'm into all the... Oh, this one's one that can get used up because it's almost empty. Fred, you're not going to be there long, so don't get too comfortable, okay, buddy? I've got that one out already. That one's out already. Okay, so I think that's enough for right now. I'll sit those beside me, and I will get rid of uh, Fred. <laughs> you can say hi, peeps. Hi, peeps. Who's up there? Look, what's up there? What's up there? Who's up there? Huh? You want to say hi, peeps? Look, what's up there? What's up there? Hi everybody! Hi everybody! <laughs> Don't do this to me, Ma! Okay, so you lay down over here. Good boy. You lay down there. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Now, these ones I have a few little things on it. And. House is finished. It's okay if it snows. And we've got stars and bells and little green things. Let's see if I can find that tiny moon Christmas I had. had when it was snow. It is. And it's silver. So. back in and find, oh, I've got Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, <sighs> no, I, I know, but something in here is jingling and I don't know what, I'm not sure what that is, but let's look at the bottom of here, oh, there's a gold season's greeting, so I should have pulled out. Up. So much to get used up. I mean, it's just insane. These, I think, the size most of birthdays, but I need some little tiny silver corners. And I know I have. There we go. We got some. Oh, do I have any others? Oops. Oh, there's a bell in here. It's a little too small to give to Fred. I have some of the bigger ones. One thing I love about these Starform stickers is um, that you can color them um, with your Tombow markers or your alcohol markers or whatever, um, and you can make them the color you want to go on whatever. Oh, here, let me use that when it's already started, and then I can um, probably get rid of that. I think that's enough. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to give him that one. It's just a little too small. He could he could swallow that. and I don't need that kind of a vet bill at this point in time. It's just too much. So, let's see how this card goes. Okay, you, there, there's a moth on the outside of my window. And Nico first saw it this morning. And then started trying to get it. I looked up to see what he was after, and it was a moth, and I thought, is that inside or out? And I had to watch it for a second. It's like, no, it's outside. And it can, it is going to stay outside. But these two have been trying all morning to catch it. <laughs> and then they get frustrated, and they, they kind of go away, and then they come back because they remember it's there. So they come back and try to get it again, and that's what they're up to right now. So... That, that's okay. Oh, come on. Don't you do that to me. That was not nice. Get back here. You know, it's 
it's been so long since I've opened this, I can't remember how to do it. I thought it was this way. Come on, gun, help. There we go. Should just flip out this thing. Okay. Now we're going to have to back it up. And turn it around. Get it back up onto there. And just roll it on my desk until the tape. Tape is now showing up. So that's good. Don't do it again. What's the matter with you? You're not even close to the end of the roll. Maybe it's just because I'm doing it in different directions. And or I didn't hold it down long enough, but I'm running it extra over this piece just to make sure that it's it's down <laughs> and it's working. So I'm going to put this little guy back up somewhere, put him down fairly low. And then, um, where did I put the little ones? I went, I just went and pulled them out. Sure, so now my right hand decides to shake today. Come on. Give me a break here. So these little um, corner stickers and stuff, they're made by Starform. And you can order them online. Um, I always, um, the ones I have, I've all, I had always bought from Stampers um, because that's, he had them. He had tons of them in his store. So I would always buy them there. Um, and they're not expensive. Um, they may even be cheaper online, I don't know. But um, I like to, if possible, support my little craft store. Um, and, you know, like I said, Steve and Anne are such nice people. You know, they're, they're very nice. And um, so I, I do my best. Um, when I can afford it, I go. I have, you know, over the years spent, when I had a great deal of money, I have spent a great deal of money there. And, uh, but mainly because I like them, you know, and... You know, he had the only stamp store in town, and uh, we, we could get any kind of stamp. And if he didn't have it in the store and you wanted a specific stamp, then he would order it in for you. And uh, you just had to, you know, send him a picture of the stamp, tell him the name of the stamp, what company made it. This is the part I have. There's glue on there that's not helping. This is the part that I have the worst issue with. Especially with shaky hands. So getting everything straight. Oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go that way. <laughs> Fool y'all. Fool y'all. You know, stamps aren't going to tell me what I can do. There. So we'll put Merry Christmas there and in the little corners. And then let's 
It's got the little star form corners here. And there are straight pieces here as well, or kind of, these ones are kind of wiggly. And you can go from, from here to here, and then from here to here, and sort of lock it all in with those if you like. With this particular one, I just wanted to keep it the same as I'm doing with the others, as simple as possible. And then, you know, um, I believe, I mean, I, a friend of mine had the house mouse stamp of this one. I don't think I managed to buy it when Steve had it in store. Um, and so a friend of mine had stamped a couple of them for me. Um, and then I colored them. And I know that one of them I sold when I had my card company. Um, and uh, I think this is the last one I have left of this little guy. So, I don't think I... This just doesn't feel like it's down enough right there. That's okay. Same right here. Just the tail. I don't want him losing his tail. So that's, that's the first one, just cute, and I mean, who doesn't love Hosmo stamps? I mean, they are just the most adorable stamps, and uh, I like them. I, they have some really cute ones, and, um, I think they have a board on Pinterest, Hosmo, and uh, you can see some of their, their images and stamps, and oh, these didn't get put back in the bag. to the other side just so I can, I can grab them easier and I can see my paper and what I have here easier because I've got kind of everything piled on top of everything over there. Last night Fred tried to throw my heat gun in the garbage because he was up there. Oh god, I don't know what the hell was it with those two last night, but man, they were really into something. <laughs> And I hadn't given them catnip, so that didn't explain anything. <clears throat> and then, uh, I, uh, God, what am I going to do with you two? Like, you're just, you're just not letting me have any peace and quiet here at all. And it just kind of didn't matter, you know, what I did, what I said. I even brought out the spray bottle. And even that didn't work. I mean, they would take off for a minute or so. <laughs> then they'd come back and they'd be up on the table again. And, you know, like, of course, I was done being at the table by then because they had, you know, screwed around up here so much that, you know, I was losing my train of thought. And it was just frustrating to try to do anything. And uh, so I thought... Okay, I'm done. You know, like, I just, I can't do it. And that's pretty much what I said to you guys. Like, as long as these guys are in this mood, I am going to get nothing done at all. Yeah. Okay, where did you go? I just had you. Just you. Uh, Fred, <laughs> every time something goes missing, it's, hey, Fred, what did you do with it? Because he's quite good at just sneaking off with stuff, you know? He's very good at that. And, uh, I I should. Now I know the card's not that long, but if I cut it off, it's got tape on there. Put this on. <laughs> I wonder if I can put one of those little blue snowmans on there. Christmas tree that they're looking at. I know this guy is like, what happened to my hat? And this one's like, mine's over there. But I haven't taken the time to cut off these little wee tiny hats on any of them so that I could put the tiny little hat over here. Um, 
I just haven't done that. I've seen it done. Um, one of my friends did that, and it was just so cute. Um, mind you, she had bought little tiny, tiny hats, little tiny Santa hats someplace, and she had put one, you know, there, and it just looked so cute because it was like, ha, he's looking for his hat. We did find one card, didn't we, that, um, it's just too small. One card base that I had, oh, there she is, with the fairy, and I can cut her. Sorry, not talking again. Just sort of concentrating on holding these penguins still so they don't try to run after their hats while I'm trying to do this. Okay. There. So there. Yeah, so I was right. So they, they need... They do need some white behind them. And then they can go on that. Or they could even go on a blue card, as a matter of fact. Sitting here, I do actually. Let's have a look and see how that would be. Oh, well, that would look cute on the blue, so we could use that blue one. I'm holding it over there, like, see, you can't see it over there, can you? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so I could do that, and then the other thing that I have here, let's see how this would look. That would be any good. Mm. No, maybe not. No. Probably all yelling at me. Yeah, use the gold, use the gold. But no, it just doesn't. Um, sitting here, it just it just doesn't work. You know. It's, I know someplace I have the silver paper, but I don't know right at this moment where it is, and it's probably in behind that big mess that's over there. And, Go there. <laughs> so let's see. How big. Well, that should be a little bit crooked. Or... No, you're not. I was crooked. My eyes were crooked. So you put that there. You can put this. the stickles on it, just like we did with the other one. And I like that. And then I can use a bigger Merry Christmas and um, I wonder if those, no, those are too, too big. But there are smaller ones on there that could be okay. Mind you, you'd have to go up in the center. Put those 
those down until I've got everything glued down. So let's let's get that done first. I'll glue everything down. You're doing it again. Come on. Stop misbehaving yourself. didn't let go of the handle soon enough. That could be the big issue. really frustrated because I got my other new tablet back um, the other day but because I had um, tests to go to um, at the hospital I didn't have a chance to um, try it out and see if it was working well I went to do that last night and it said, when I turned it on, it said no SIM card. I'm like, what the heck? What do you mean there's no SIM card? I sent it off with a SIM card. So this morning, first thing, I had to go back to the Telestore and figured that they were going to ship it back to wherever they shipped it the first time. Get on there. Get on there. And that, uh, you know, I'd be waiting a few more days for it to come back and see if it would work. And, um... Thankfully, the same guy was there, and he saw me walk in the store, and he said, uh-oh. <laughs> I said, yep, <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> so uh, he said, what's happened? And I said, well, I said, this, this, as you know, was shipped off for repair. And I said, it came back without my SIM card. He's like, what? I said, yeah. They took the SIM card out, and send it back without one. And I said, I don't understand why they would do that. Um, the SIM card was, you know, in there when I sent it. And I don't understand why they would take the SIM card out of it. He goes, I don't know. And so he said, but luckily, that's something I can fix right here. And I went, oh, really? It doesn't have to get sent away again? He's like, nope. So I'll give you a new SIM card right here. I said, good, how about giving me the other card, too, for all the BS I've been through with this one? You know, like the storage card. He says, no, I can't do that. And uh, well, it's going to come to that point if I have to keep take the damn thing back. But, um, you know, this morning I tried, you know, I was, you know, setting it up, giving it a name, trying to hook it up to the TV, and, or to the laptop, pardon me, which is my TV, basically. And then, uh, I'd only been doing it for about 10 minutes, and all of a sudden it said battery low. I was like, really? Come on. You know, like, I've hardly done anything with it, you know, and it was fully charged when it was sent to them, but whatever they did with it anyway, it came back with a low battery. So now I have it plugged in, um, hoping that it's going to charge to 100% faster than three days. And if it doesn't, it's going to go back again. And it's going to keep going back until they get it right. You know, because telling me that there's nothing wrong with it when it takes three hours to charge is insane. So I set it up in the charger at 236. 
we'll just see how long it takes. I haven't checked it yet. Um, but I have it sitting up here just in front of me. Um, These, I find, they make such a big difference on a card. I, I love them. Um, they're, they just give it a little, a little bit of extra without um, going too far. And uh, I love using them. Uh, and they're simple. So, so simple. And then... Uh, like once this is all empty, I mean, then you've got, this is all still sticky underneath there as well. And uh, you can use it as a, like a template for misting or whatever. And if you don't want it to be super, super sticky, then all you do is take it and, you know, press it on your jeans or whatever you're wearing so that it, it picks up lint. And then it's not going to be super sticky. I mean, you'd, you'd even, you would even be able to use this, I believe, on a jelly plate. And all you'd have to do is, you know, pat it on your shirt, do, you know, whatever to get it so that it's got stuff on the back of it that makes it not sticky. And then you'd be able to use it in that way. So, I'm, uh, you yeah, know, now you can see why I wanted to use these today. I have some that are almost empty. No, I did that in silver, so I need a silver. Um, let's see. That fit a little fit, but it's not very fancy. So you can see here where I've colored some to go with certain different cards. And I, you know, I would just take my um, Tombow pens and color them and get the most, you know, most beautiful colors. And uh, then it, it, it would match, but and you can do that with the corner ones as well. There. Now see, that was so simple, so cute, and fast. You know, it took, okay, we're going to have to do two hands again. Jeez, this is really starting to annoy me, this thing with my hands. Not just starting, it's been annoying me for quite a while. <laughs> and, uh, but that was so fast, so simple, and it looks so pretty. You know, like it's, because it's got the fancy little corners and the, the fancy little Merry Christmas on it, it just gives the card a little extra something, you know? And I, I know there's, you know, other ways to use those. And I mean, you could just, um, like for instance, put this down um, on a piece of card. You don't even have to put anything on this except maybe, let's, let's give it a shot here because I know I have one. Um, gold, so we'll do it in silver, because I know I have it in silver. No, that one's, that's just not quite big enough for what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use this one, which is quite a large Merry Christmas. Um, now I can, large is right. I can ahead of time before I pick it up because 
because of the shaky hands thing. straight with these hands of mine. some little stars. was definitely operator error. this will come. I may have to use a smaller one on this card. I don't know. But maybe not. No, I can use the big one. What's up, Nikabu? Hmm? Are you going to sit and tell the people what you're doing? Hmm? Well, you're kind of out of the way, so I guess you're okay. No, this little piece is going to go underneath it. are bigger than the ones that I used on the other cards and uh, I can show them to you side by side afterwards if you like. So basically you just try to line them up to the edges and that little piece here to the center of your corner. And then you need to tap down stick it down. And they stick very well. You know, there's no need for any other type of glue to go behind these. I mean, they, they are meant for this purpose. Um, so, you know, and I know with some things it's like, okay, you just can't trust the sticky, but with these ones you can. You can trust the sticky because they are meant for this purpose. 
So there's another one. Just quick, fast, and easy. And, you know, for a sentiment on the inside, I mean, you can print a sentiment off the computer. My mouth not, mouth not wanting to work there. You can print a sentiment off the computer. If you have old Christmas cards around that have a nice sentiment in them, then you can, by all means, use that in there. Um, I know a lot of people are um, repurposing Christmas cards, which I think is a great idea. Unfortunately, um, during my move in here, I went through a whole bunch of stuff, and I had kept cards from when I was a kid, and I checked them all, and now I'm <laughs> watching all these videos of people who are repurposing Christmas cards and birthday cards and all this kind of stuff, and I'm like, damn, I wish I'd kept them all. But, you know, live and learn, and, you know, from now on, and I will, you know, I don't receive that many cards, really, but, um, you know, especially with no family, you don't. I receive them from a couple girlfriends and stuff, so... Um, it's, uh, you know, maybe I'll put a notice in my laundry room or something saying if you have any old greeting cards that you want to get away, please, or get rid of, please don't throw them away. <laughs> I can use them for crafting. Uh, something like that. I don't know. Um, maybe somebody's got a whole bunch of really old Christmas cards that they don't want. Like, I still, one of the cards that I kept was one of the very last cards that my grandmother, who was my favorite grandmother, she was French, uh, her maiden name was Hudon, and Moore was her married name. Um, um, and she always sent me, the, you know those birthday cards with the little girls with the dress, and it's shaped like the little girl with the dress. Every year I got one of those from her, and every year she baked me an angel food cake. And sometimes she would put money in it, sometimes she would put charms in it. But she knew what the charms meant, and I don't remember. Like, she would put, like, safety pins and uh, paper clips and all sorts of things. Everything was all wrapped up real good in tin foil so that if you came across it in the in the cake, you knew not to, you know, you could see it and you wouldn't bite down or, or anything on the cake because you were cutting the cake with your fork anyway. Um, but she always knew the meaning of all these things that she put into the cake. And um, I, I loved it. I thought that that was... You know, that was one of the best things she ever gave me was that, that cake every year. I loved it. My brothers are, what's with all this stupid stuff in it? And I said, it's not stupid. You know, every one of those things that's in there means something. So go ask Nanny. She'll tell you. And my brothers just, you know, they just didn't think it was, you know, they liked the cake, of course. But uh, uh, they didn't, didn't really care about... Uh, you know, the time she put into it and the, the thought that went into those little pieces of things that were in that cake. And I did. I, you know, like, I love that woman so much. And my other grandmother, Mason, um, my dad's mom, she was a baker. Oh, my God. Like, she baked every Saturday. And that's where I ended up. I picked the habit up from her when... I had my own kids, Saturday was baking day. It just, you know, between her and my godmother who um, lives on Salt Spring and she had her own bread shack. She had the shack built for her and she would bake bread all night and or for a couple days, whatever. It was always fresh bread, fresh cinnamon buns, fresh dinner buns, you know, cookies, cakes, you name it. And she made it, and every Saturday she would open her little bread shack and sell out of everything. And I used to go in the summertime because her daughter Lorraine, her and I were roughly the same age, and we were good friends, like we would hang out together. And we would walk all around, Sha um, not Shawnigan Lake, that's where I grew up. Um, around Salt Spring Island and, you know, have a ball, but on Saturday we were expected to be there to help 
with, um, you know, bagging up purchases and, you know, things like that, which I loved. I, Lorraine hated it, but I loved it. I just thought that that was so much fun. And I mean, I was only like maybe 12, I guess. I don't know. But I just thought that that was so cool. And uh, Lorraine was like, well, why don't you do it? And then I can go hang out with my friends. And I said, I don't care. I'll stay. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter to me. But her mom wouldn't have any of that. No, there was no way. And her mom, my godmother, is my great aunt. And she was one of my favorite people in the world. I, I just absolutely adored her. I really wish she had been my mother. You know, like, so I learned a lot from her. And uh, eventually, having her little bread shack, I mean, she opened a restaurant on Salt Spring Island. You know, she saved her money. She did, did well. She bought herself a home, and she opened a restaurant, and uh, it was quite a popular restaurant, too, and, and because everything was homemade. All the soups were homemade, all the sandwiches were homemade, all the breads for the sandwiches, etc. Everything was homemade, and she did real well, and uh, I used to just love to go visit her. You know, she was one of my favorite people. She still is my favorite, one of my favorite people. My other one was my Uncle Gene, and he was my godfather. And it, it's so funny that the two people in my life, you know, that were great aunts and uncles, basically, um, and that were my godparents. And, you know, when you're young, you don't quite understand somebody being your godparent. What the heck's that supposed to mean kind of thing. But... They were my two favorite people in the whole world. I just absolutely adored the both of them. And, you know, I always wished that Uncle Gene was my dad and that Auntie uh, Rita was my mom. But Uncle Gene was married to Auntie Molly, and she was an amazing lady, too. I absolutely loved her. Um, she went, she passed away far too soon, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but, oh God, she was a wonderful lady, and she was so beautiful. Um, her daughters, like Uncle Gene and Auntie Molly, had six daughters and one son. They could have had a seventh daughter, that would have been me. But, unfortunately, I was born to the, the one person in the family I didn't want to be. And my Uncle Wolf, he was great. I loved him. When I was a really little girl, I was terrified of him because he was so big. He was a, a long-distance truck driver, and he was a big, big man, and I was terrified of him. I mean, I was like five years old, maybe, <laughs> and I would pretty much end up in a corner any time he came near me because he was too big. Like, for a little one like me, looking way, way up, it was like... He was almost up to the ceiling, and he used to have to duck down to go into the doorways, and, you know, and I wasn't sure if he was the friendly giant or not, basically, you know. And his voice was so deep and booming. But, you know, then in the end, he became one of my favorites, too, because he was an amazing man. Um, and uh, I, I loved him as much as the others, and... Uh, No driver, but we got a truck. So there's a truck, and now to go with the same sort of, same kind of theme that we're going with right now with these stickers. Um, let's see what have I got here. I just want something simple, and I don't want to. Gold this time. Or we could do green. But no, I think I'm going to do the gold. And, uh, and I'm just going to do it down two sides of the card just to give it a little 
a little extra. Um, see if you can see here how there are... Okay, my camera's shutting off for some reason. So I'm going to say goodbye, and I'm going to go upload what I can and figure out what's going on, and I will come back. Um, don't forget, creative clutter is better than idle neatness, and have a great day morning, afternoon, evening, where, whatever it is where you are. Have a great one, and I will be back.